Hey guys, Jason from Enswell Speed and Fab here with our 1966 GMC 5500. All right guys, there's only one truck that's cooler than this one, and that's this one done. Let's be honest here for a second. This thing is insane. So we got this truck about a year ago. We had high hopes of putting the, the wedge uh, deck on the back of it. We got it running and driving, and this is where it's at right now. So we're gonna call this one not quite ready for, uh, for retail, but it's ready to go as far as running, driving. We got this Duramax swapped into it. So really, you could take it whatever direction you want. Some people like to drive them just like this. It's about 25 foot long, but obviously it's set up perfectly for putting a wedge, a dovetail deck back there, some sort of flatbed. If you guys saw Dino's uh, truck that he did like this, so sick. This thing lays just about the same frame, lays that running board right on the ground. Let's go take a look at it. The cab itself, super solid. It actually only had about 70,000 original miles. It looks like it was a crane truck. And so that was a really nice foundation to start with. Um, you can see the cab corners, rockers, a lot of areas that oftentimes have rot on these things. Really, really good shape. Um, walking around the cab, you can see the frame and the gas tanks. The welding and fabrication on this truck is incredible. Super solid. It's got semi-truck rear airbags. All right, you guys that have done air ride before, you, you gotta know that AccuAir went out of business, but guess what? They did get bought out, they're merging back, they'll be coming back. This has AccuAir dual endo CBT tanks on it. It is the best setup by a long shot. Has compressors mounted inside the tank so it keeps them nice and isolated out of the weather uh, and keeps them very quiet. So dual tanks load, loaded up right here on the inner frame rails. This was all brand new stuff. It literally only has a few hours on it of testing. Probably one of my favorite things about this truck, it has the Alcoa 24.5s that have been milled down to 24s for street use. Uh, really a cool setup. <laughs> the photos and videos probably not gonna do it justice because they are a little bit dirty. We literally just drove this thing out here. Um, we had some snow and some weather and haven't had a chance to clean this thing up, but it will look awesome. It is set up with dual tanks on here. It's got the filters, got the fuel pump, all the things that you'd want to have with the diesel. Uh, the Duramax is intercooled. Uh, we'll take a look at the engine bay here in just a moment. And the interior actually is looking really good as well. So we actually had a customer that really wants this truck, so we kind of did some theoreticals on getting it going with uh, lights, headlights, taillights, turn signals, all of that, getting it ready. We're estimating probably about 1500 bucks more to, to get it to, to that point. So if that's something you're interested in, we can get it going as well. All right, under the hood lies this beautiful Duramax. It's been swapped in, amazing job on it. Big, big radiator up front, dual fans. I love right through the front here where the GMC normally is at. You can see that big old intercooler tucked in there nicely. There's really no room to spare. It fits perfectly. This thing also does have a tune and a chip on it, five stage, so you can adjust the tuning on it as well. Great for towing. So if you end up putting a wedge bed on the back of this thing and want to haul something to the show, man, you got a reliable, uh, this, this motor only had about 60,000 miles. It came out of an ambulance um, with that Allison transmission. guys I kind of hope no one buys this I'm not gonna lie because I really want it for a shop truck but we have so much going on in the shop right now we would love to let this go on to the next buyer and, and let somebody else take it to the finish line it's so close 
as they always say, you know you can't build it for this with all the fabrication, everything that's been done. Finish it out, leave the patina on it just like it is, or take it all away with the shiny paint job. Whatever you want to do, sky's the limit. We're here to help you. Give us a call. Let's make this one yours today.